Okay, I will start for this event today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to visiting lecture today. For everyone to those who has entered the room, we are about to begin. So please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Honorable Irina Mosul PhD. And a very warm welcome to the all participants and some university. Is it not a pleasure to have all of you in this memorable occasion? And I would like to thank Scott for gathering us here in a visiting lecture program regarding ecology and human health. Before we begin, please allow me to read our agenda this afternoon. First, there will be presentation by Irina Mozul PhD. Second, the class will be question and answer session after the presentation and continue with a brief photo session at the end. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, we will now the start this class today by Dr. Irina Mozul. Yeah, by, for Dr. Irina, the time is yours. Thank you. Um, good morning, uh, dear guests. Uh, I'm glad to see you here. Um, today I want to, to represent you uh, my lecture. Uh, the topic is ecology and uh, human health. My name is Irina Mosul. Uh, I am a senior lecturer and um, candidate of uh, pedagogical sciences uh, of uh, Alexander Dovzhenko uh, Gluchev National Pedagogical University. Uh, so uh, I think that we can start. Let's begin. Uh, if uh, you uh, you will have some questions uh, in the end of our uh, meeting, uh, we ask you to write them the, uh, your questions uh, into the chat. Into the chat. Okay. So uh, let's begin. Uh, do you see uh, my presentation? Uh -huh. Uh, so, the topic of lecture is uh, ecology and human health. Um, um, uh, you can see the plan of our lecture. Um, the development of human uh, civilization is impossible without a rational uh, interaction with nature. Uh, a person uh, re receives uh, every, everything necessary for life uh, from nature. Energy, food, uh, materials, uh, emotional and uh, aesthetic uh, inspiration, of course. Uh, Purposeful of uh, human action uh, on nature causes not only uh, a positive impact, but also leads uh, to negative uh, con consequence. Uh, therefore, strategy uh, for environmental protection, broad environmental education of the population is extremely necessary today. Ecology um, is uh, the science of relationships between plants, animals, organisms, and the environment. You can see uh, this information uh, on the slide. This is the definition of uh, Temen uh, ecology. Um, An uh, important object uh, of study in ecology is the biosphere. The 
The biosphere is the shell of the earth within uh, which life uh, exists. The main element of the biosphere is a man. Man is the highest stage of development of living organism on earth. Uh, the bi biological uh, unity of man and the biosphere uh, li uh, lies uh, in the fact that man is one of the links of the cycle in nature. Substances uh, that the human body takes from the environment, uh, for example, air, water, food, etc., uh, are used in the process of uh, vital activity, and then, of course, uh, they are realized and returned to external uh, environment, where, as a result uh, of transformations, they break down into continued elements that are again uh, enter the biological cycle. Um, while humanity was few and uh, some primitive, people could influence the uh, environment only locally uh, and uh, didn't uh, change the biological uh, circulation of substances on the scale of the planet and the uh, dynamic balance at the, uh, in the world as a whole. At the same time, the environment was self-cleaning, which had not a, a negative effect on the human body and its health. Uh, with the uh, increase uh, in the number of people and their settlements through the planet, uh, the need for natural resources is constantly growing. Man, in order to provide for his needs and improve living conditions with the help of a stock of knowledge, uh, begins to take more and more of nature's resources, sometimes to his own detriment. Uh, man takes not only those substances uh, that he needs uh, for uh, ecological needs, for example, oxygen, water, food, some materials, um, wood, and etc. but also uses a huge amount of fossils, forests, uh, and, and other nature, natural uh, materials. So uh, the main uh, and uh, biosphere problem has two main aspects. Uh, the first one is technical and economic. Uh, associated with the growing uh, depletion of the planet natural resources, um, uh, which poses many problems for scientists in terms of finding new source of energy. And the second one uh, is ecological, ecological uh, related to environmental uh, pollution and uh, violation of the biological balance in the human biosphere system. Uh, regions have formed on the planet where the level of pollution uh, of the biosphere has reached uh, uh, some proportions. Uh, for example, uh, 15 uh, billion carbon dioxide is imitated uh, annually uh, into the atmosphere as a result of burning fuel and uh, different types of economic activity. Uh, Annually, uh, as a result of uh, photosynthesis, for example, um, uh, 300 billion tons of uh, CO2 are absorbed, uh, 200 billion tons of uh, oxygen are realized, and 150 billion tons of organic substances, uh, substances are formed. What is the way out of uh, this situation? Uh, according um, to specialists, uh, every free uh, layer of our soil uh, uh, on our planet uh, should be allocated under green plants, uh, which purifies the air from carbon dioxide and uh, disease uh, different uh, microbes and uh, give us oxygen and uh, water. So, for example, by planting a hectare of uh, uh, juniper uh, in a big city, you can completely clean uh, the air of bacteria. Uh, these plants, um, up to uh, 30 kilograms of phytoncids uh, uh, per day, which have a detrimental uh, effect on uh, different microbes. Uh, it is necessary um, to improve the technology of uh, fuel production and burning, for example, as well as the construction of protective structure, filter uh, 
uh, ventilation units and etc. The third uh, one is the introduction of oxygen-free energy through the use of sunlight and uh, wind energy also has a positive effect. Uh, nuclear power plants also do need, uh, don't need uh, oxygen. Uh, look uh, at your slides, please. Uh, now uh, I want to, to uh, repeat with you uh, the most important ecological uh, problems, and then uh, we will talk about uh, uh, human health and environment. So, uh, population health. Uh, Population health depends only uh, 50 persons uh, on lifestyle, 20 persons on uh, heredity, uh, 20 persons on ecology, uh, it's important, and 10 persons on the development of the health care system. Ecology and human health are uh, interconnected. And uh, with changes of the surrounding uh, environment, uh, there are corresponding change in the health. Uh, after all, uh, a lot of new diseases um, had uh, appeared and uh, have already appeared, and uh, the number of them uh, is um, increasing every day uh, because of uh, surrounding environment. Generation uh, of uh, our uh, people uh, lived uh, in close contact with nature. Uh, the living and working condition of uh, modern people uh, have uh, uh, certainly improved, but the uh, consequences of them uh, are far from clear up. Uh, environmental uh, Pollution, uh, along with toxic effects, uh, uh, have the danger of uh, genetic changes. For example, air pollution. Uh, air pollution has become a big problem for uh, cities, for big cities, for example. Um, sedimentation uh, of emission of uh, on um, water droplets causes the appearance of smoky uh, fogs, smoke. The arrival of a large uh, of a large amount of nitrogen and sulfur oxides uh, causes the appearance of uh, acid uh, rains, uh, which pollutes the territory at great distances from the sources of their emissions. Such rains destroy plants and animals, damage human structures, and uh, etc. In, uh, industrial uh, emissions of freon into the atmosphere reduce the uh, thickness of the ozone uh, layer around the Earth, which protects living nature from the harmful uh, effects of ultraviolet uh, rays from the space. Uh, of course, the uh, incident uh, at the Chernobyl uh, nuclear power plant had a particularly uh, negative impact uh, on the health of the population of our country. Uh, the problem of environmental pollution is a global pro problem. Every year, uh, the environmental situation uh, on the planet uh, is getting more complicated. Uh, one of the biggest problems Problems is the negative impact um, of a um, polluted uh, environment on human health. Uh, so, um, dusty air. Uh, dirty water, uh, very high or very low uh, temperatures, uh, poor qual uh, quality uh, food, um, all these things can uh, harm our health. A man has adapted to the environmental uh, environment uh, in the process of evolution, and um, man can't uh, live without uh, nature. Science, uh, it is shared uh, with uh, his inter internal environment. From the beginning of uh, embryonic uh, development uh, uh, until the end of uh, his life, 
a person is in a contact with the components of environment air water soil uh, food uh, etc the uh, vital activity of, of the um, human organism uh, is in a con uh, continuous uh, dynamic um, interrelationship with env environmental factors. Environmental factors uh, should uh, effectively uh, affect uh, health and ensure the normal cost of all human life process. According to modern uh, statistics, more than 80% uh, uh, of diseases are uh, related to what we breathe, what uh, water we drink, and what soil we walk on. Uh, today, uh, human health can be called uh, one of the main ecological criteria, uh, criteria, criteria of uh, environmental quality. Uh, man uh, can't be health. Uh, man can't be health uh, in uh, dangerous uh, nature, in dangerous environment. Pollution of any of the components of the environment is uh, unfair. For, uh, unfavorable uh, for humans. So, uh, uh, atmospheric air pollution contributes to the appearance of uh, a great number of uh, different diseases of the respiratory organs, uh, of uh, eyes, uh, diseases of uh, cardiovascular system, infection diseases, uh, cancer, uh, uh, causes, uh, chronic bronchitis, uh, uh, asthma, and uh, etc. As a result, uh, bronchitis, asthma, uh, headaches, uh, feeling of uh, weakness appear, uh, work capacity decreases, uh, so on. The earth's water balance also has a negative impact. Water is necessary for human life, and uh, therefore its pollution is the case of many diseases. A disease is caused by bacteriological and chemical uh, contamination of water occur as a result of agriculture and industrial uh, waste water, as well as uh, sewage interior uh, reservoirs. Um, Intentional uh, infection diseases, including cholera, typhoid, uh, paratyphoid, dysentery, uh, uh, and uh, different others, represent the greatest danger of uh, spreading disease by water. The development of uh, um, uh, stone disease, uh, proteinuria, uh, liver disease, anemia, uh, and disease of uh, gastrointestinal uh, uh, tract. Um, all these uh, diseases um, connect uh, with water. Uh, of course, uh, uh, the influence uh, of the environment on human health also occurs uh, through the soil. Uh, thanks to human activity, not only chemical, but also organic uh, compounds enter it. From it, they uh, penetrate into uh, groundwater, which is absorbed by plants, and then enter the human body through meal, meat, uh, milk, uh, and different uh, products, vegetables and fruits. So you can see soil pollution on your slide. Uh, another ecology, ecological problem, uh, the influence of the sun on human health has been noticed uh, since ancient times. In uh, years of uh, increased solar activity, uh, or when magnetic storms occur, uh, cases of cardiovascular and nervous system, mental and behavioral uh, disorders are more uh, frequent. Uh, of course, um, sun has uh, bad uh, uh, result for human immunity. Uh, another factor is the level of uh, ultraviolet uh, radiation. 
For humans, uh, ultraviolet light is a small, uh, in small doses, uh, of course, is useful. It has an antiseptic and bacteriostatic effect. Uh, inhibits uh, the development of uh, different uh, pathogenic uh, fungi that uh, cause skin diseases. A thin uh, ozone screen uh, in the upper atmosphere protects uh, living matters uh, from the harmful effects of ultraviolet rays. Today, the existence of the screen is under threat. Uh, of the climatic and meteorological factors, temperature, relative uh, humidity, and atmospheric pressures uh, affect people to the uh, greatest extent. The functional state and protective reactions of the organisms uh, are closely related to climatic uh, facts, factors. Climatic factors. Uh, uh, of course, high temperature uh, inhibits people's uh, physical activity, uh, increases uh, diseases of cardiovascular system, kidneys. Uh, low temperature uh, contributes to the development of uh, inflammation of the respiratory organs uh, and uh, rheumatism. Uh, then uh, we can see some uh, ecological problems, uh, few, few ecological problems such as uh, greenhouse effect, uh, uh, acid rains, different diseases, human diseases. Of course, uh, weakening of the immune system of humans and animals. We have talked about it. And uh, etc. Uh, now, um, you can see, um, you can see, uh, causes and uh, consequences of uh, changes uh, Earth's climate. Uh, so uh, you, can, you can read some information on the slide. Uh, uh, deforestation, uh, blowing of steps, uh, fertile lands turn into burnt salt uh, meshes and salt uh, meshes. Uh, droughts sweep over the earth more and more often. Uh, the climate and weather are shaken by a person uh, every day. You can see the effects uh, of global warming on your slide and of course uh, one of the problems of nowadays is um, uh, overpopulation of our planet uh, people need uh, it is uh, the reason of um, uh, a lot of diseases. People need more uh, products. Uh, uh, they need a place to live. Different resources and etc. So...
uh, in most cases, the deter uh, deterioration of health due to the lack uh, or uh, excuse of uh, certain substances in water and food is association is associated uh, with the uh, deficiency of uh, calcium, iron, iodine, and uh, uh, different metals. Um, zinc, uh, boron, uh, lead, uh, mercury, and etc. A lack of tra trace elements that uh, are part of vitamins is a frequent uh, cause of vitamin uh, deficiency. Uh, fresh air uh, improves human health. Before the rain, uh, some of us uh, can uh, may have um, uh, ache, headache, uh, or feel uh, draw, drowsy. Uh, people uh, with diseases of the cardiovascular system, of course, suffer the most uh, from the head. Colds, uh, some throat and flu are most common uh, during winter. After winter, the human body is also very uh, vulnerable uh, to different infections. So, uh, what can we do with uh, these uh, ecological problems? Uh, of course, there are uh, uh, different uh, institutions and organizations uh, which uh, develop uh, different uh, ecological uh, programs, um, uh, different uh, have different conferences. Um, um, about uh, nature problems and ecological problems. For example, Greenpeace, as uh, we have talked uh, already, there are many different uh, organizations which try to find solutions uh, uh, of different ecological problems. Uh, on the international level. Uh, sorry. Uh, of course, uh, uh, what uh, measures are being taken to solve these problems? First of all, hopes for solving problems are connected with the development of energy seven technologies and bringing clean energy so sources to the level of industrial uh, industrial uh, capacities. The development uh, of electric, uh, electric uh, valves, the uh, expansion of public electric uh, transport will gradually uh, purify the air of cities. Uh, any attempts to uh, recycle garbage uh, or recycle it without uh, waste are now very valuable. Uh, so I think that it is uh, necessary uh, for everybody uh, to uh, waste sorting. Waste sorting. It is very useful habit to waste sorting. Uh, of course, uh, uh, the uh, another another uh, useful habit is uh, landscaping. Uh, if you have some free area, you can uh, plant. Uh, you can uh, plant there. Uh, grow grow uh, up some plants. Some plants, uh, because they give us uh, oxygen, they give us water, um, they uh, take part uh, in, in photosynthesis and etc. Of course, it is important uh, it is important to um, provide national parks. Uh, to provide ecotourism uh, for protecting our nature. Uh, 
some rules you you can see on the slide elementary rules uh, but sometimes we uh, forget this information of course um, uh, every one of us uh, must be a friend for the nature uh, because it is uh, our home uh, and of course our health uh, demands of it so uh, modern comfortable housing uh, warm clothes transport buildings uh, other benefits of civilization civilization uh, have reduced the impact of natural the human body but reduced its uh, resistance to their unexpected changes uh, human ecology is an uh, integral part of the general ecology determined uh, primarily by the negative effect on people of the environment they have changed. Man is a child of the earth, uh, a product of nature, as a result, uh, a result of uh, the development uh, of biosphere. Even uh, in the 18th century, humanity was in harmony with nature, but already at the end of the 19th century, uh, there was uh, an imbalance uh, between humanity and the environment. Now, uh, the volume of uh, permissible uh, action on the biosphere is uh, exaggerated uh, eight, ten times. But basically, uh, biological and ecological systems are being destroyed. Uh, most of the Earth's population lives uh, in areas uh, of ecological uh, disadvantage only part of the only uh, small part of the places uh, uh, on the planet can be considered uh, ecologically safe for human health therefore it is uh, natural uh, that the health of uh, society uh, deteriorates every year Uh, the worst thing uh, is that it's uh, primarily about the health of the young generation. Uh, in many cases, uh, future citizens of different countries are doomed to illness uh, even before birth. There is no such thing as an ecological problem uh, in its poor form. Uh, it is uh, always uh, directly or indirectly connected with uh, uh, ecology, always um, connected with politics, uh, economic questions, uh, new technologies in the uh, world, uh, with general culture of, um, of man and uh, with the communication of mankind, with the level of uh, maturity and ecological understanding. Uh, you can see how many global uh, diseases are linked uh, to the environment in the world. Uh, on another slide, you can see uh, top 10 causes of DOS from the environment. Uh, the first place uh, uh, it, uh, it is heart disease. Uh, then on the second, uh, we have chronic respiratory diseases. On the third, cancers uh, and etc. Another slide, um, we can see who is the most impacted by the environmental. Um, very often uh, children and uh, old people. Uh, next one, 
here you can see um, how ecology situation and uh, nature environment uh, what role does uh, it play uh, for human health and for human organism in addition ecology uh, is one of the most important reasons for uh, the accumulation of body mutations that relate to the human genotype. The next one, you can see uh, the role of uh, global warming and climate change uh, in the nature and uh, effects on humans too. Uh, in order to cope with all the mentioned problems, human health and nature, responsible environmental policy and uh, uh, practice of state and public bodies, managers of enterprises and uh, organizations are necessary first of all. Uh, here you can see uh, different uh, ecological factors and uh, uh, what diseases they uh, product. Um, you can see diseases uh, which uh, connect with the air pollution, with water uh, quality impacts, uh, with food impacts, um, extreme hurt of our planet, uh, and uh, so on. And uh, on another picture, uh, we can see um, how uh, in in what way air pollution um, on our health? What role does it play on different organs of the uh, human body? Uh, the ecological situation requires the mobilization of all governmental and non-governmental organizations, the entire associated to solve uh, existence problems. Environmental education and education of population occupy not the last place in this work. So you can remember um, such scenes. Life and health of uh, every person is uh, affected by the environment. Human health depends on the state of uh, the environment for 20, 20 persons. Uh, some components of natural and technical uh, origin uh, worsen human health. The second one is while um, improving living uh, conditions, it is necessary to protect and respect nature. Uh, each person should uh, take care of the environment and their own health. Caring for the environment begins with one's own house, street, park. Uh, as we have told you today, uh, everybody can uh, do landscaping, everybody can uh, take part in waste sorting, and etc. Uh, it is necessary to change uh, one's uh, consumerist uh, aggressive uh, attitude towards nature and uh, to replace it with concern uh, for the presentation of all living scenes to participate in the landscaping of one's hometown or settlement. The main task of our time is to prevent uh, ir irreversible uh, changes uh, associated with the environmental pollution. Our environment is our body. Protecting the environment, we protect our health. Uh, to uh, ensure uh, survival uh, in today's world, we need uh, the um, unity, unity. I'm sorry, unity of the modern uh, worldview, the unity of the actions uh, of all mankind, uh, 
uh, to preserve nature as well as intelligent rational use of natural natural resources development introduction into productions uh, of progressive eco safe technologies uh, improvement and promotion of the effectiveness of environmental law promotion of ecological culture of people and so on i can uh, tell you that uh, take care of your health from your young age uh, and of course multiply it um, take care about uh, environment about our nature um, and uh, remember that your health is your uh, principal um, treasure given to you by your parents of course and by nature too uh, on the last slide uh, you can see uh, some uh, environmental uh, impacts and uh, uh, what uh, can people do with it. Thank you for attention. It is my uh, first uh, appearance. Uh, to um, read some lecture uh, in English for foreign students. Uh, that's why I am some nervous today, but uh, I am very thankful for your attention. Uh, maybe uh, you have some question. Okay, thank you for wonderful presentation and amazing for Dr. Irina. Yeah, for all audience, if you wanna ask question, you can raise your hand or you can write in the room. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, for first, oh, we have question from Ms. Rajesh Ferry. Mm -hmm. Already read in the room chat, Miss. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, one moment, please. Uh, I read, read your questions. From Miss Rajeshwari. Yeah, in Zoom chat. Uh, uh, you can see uh. it. One moment, please. About water pollution. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, some people tend to use water which produced by a company. Uh, like the daily basis, people tend to consume mineral water because they think it's safe. Uh -huh. uh, do you really think it's safe to be consumed? Uh, the plastic bottle which used. Uh -huh. Uh, of course, um, uh, it is necessary um, uh, nowadays. It is necessary to use uh, eco-friendly. Uh, Things and uh, eco-friendly bottles. Uh, uh, it uh, um, we uh, must. We uh, must um, say um, uh, One moment, please. I need some some help. Um, um, people must uh, refuse, must re refuse of different uh, plastic uh, scenes, uh, uh, bottles, etc. Uh, we uh, may uh, use uh, different uh, wood products, uh, paper products, uh, um, uh, which uh, have no uh, bad uh, influence for nature and for our health too. Uh, 
we we must remember that uh, uh, plastic scenes uh, are uh, distributed a very long time, and uh, of course uh, animals uh, eat uh, these scenes. Um, um, we can see this uh, bottle not only on the land uh, in the ocean too. Um, that's why I think that the, it is not safe, uh, not only for people, but uh, for nature too. Thank you for your question. Okay, thank you for answering. It was, it was interesting. Mm -hmm. I think it's very clear answer from Professor Ra. And then we have question from Mr. Sam. Yeah, for Mr. Sam, the time is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Novita, for the chance to, for me. Yeah. Well, uh, good afternoon, everyone, and Mrs. Irina. Let me introduce myself. My name is Sam, and I'm from Stockholm University. Here, I have three questions for you that I want to ask. Uh, let me ask the first question. Wait. The first question, why do humans have such a big influence on the balance of ecosystem? You can answer directly, ma'am, miss. Thank you. Answer the first question. <laughs> do you get it? Um, because uh, man is a part of uh -huh. ecosystem, uh, it take part uh, in different process. Um, in in biosphere, it is part. Uh, man is a part of uh, biosphere. Um, um, Is it clear or I have to ask again the first question? Mm -hmm. Okay. I will repeat again once again. Yeah. Why do humans have such a big influence on the balance of ecosystems? One moment, please. Um... Um, because um, uh, human activity, human activity uh, have some uh, influence uh, on the nature. Um, human activity is uh, as a, uh, an ecological factor too. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, uh, man uh, influence uh, on animals, uh, on plants, uh, 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 on soil, on water, and all around uh, him. That's all. Uh, I think that uh, yes, that's all. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you for the answer for my first question. And then I will ask the second question. What problems will arise if humans cannot maintain the balance of the environment? Is it clear or? Uh -huh. I, uh, I, I see your question in the chat. Oh. Uh, Maybe I will uh, type the. Can you write? Me, yeah. Can you write me second second question, please? Okay, wait. This is the second question. One moment, please. Okay. Uh, 
it will uh, it will be a reason for disbalance in nature, in biosphere, and it is a uh, danger for humanity as a whole. Oh, like that. Okay, uh, maybe that's all your answer, miss? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think uh, that no, uh, it will be it will be the reason for um, uh, for change uh, our climate, uh, uh, our ecosystem stability, um, all process uh, uh, in biosphere, all process in biosphere. It's it all. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. I got it. Okay, Miss. Uh, maybe I just want to ask two questions for you. And that's all my questions. Thank you. Thank you so much for your answer. And good afternoon, Miss. Have a good day. Thank you very much for your attention. Okay. Thank you so much for Dr. Sam. And then we have a continue question from Miss Rajeshwari. Miss, already read in the room chat. Uh, you can see it or I will read again. Wait just a moment, please. Yes, this is continue question from Rajeshwari in the first beginning question. Thank you. One moment, please. Yeah. Um, I think that um, the last um, comment about um, uh, how to pack packing water uh, into the bottles, I think that it is um, a very serious problem uh, which we um, must to uh, very shortly. It is a very serious problem and uh, uh, which we must solve. And uh, I think that uh, we need uh, uh, not only a few days for it. The last, if human being couldn't. Uh, Mr. Sam, I agree with you uh, completely. Of course, if uh, human uh, couldn't uh, maintain the balance uh, of environment and in nature, uh, and uh, it is a part of this uh, biosphere, uh, of course, it could be the problem and the danger for uh, human living and human being. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, another question, I will. Yeah, this is from Ms. Sukamto. What do you think about green energy, especially in the electric vehicle? Because electric vehicle need a lot of rare, rare metal for battery and electric machine that also create environment destruction in the mining process of rare metal. Thank you. Uh, one moment, please. 
Uh, I'm right, right in the room chat. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, one moment, please. I need some uh, help with translation. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for these questions, um, uh, green uh, green energy uh, uh, refers uh, to renewable uh, uh, sources of energy uh, that uh, are in nature uh, and uh, a separate uh, property is the impact of the environment uh, in exists uh, but uh, is not associated with uh, emissions of gases uh, that trap solar energy uh, in the atmosphere um, uh, this question um, is very uh, actual nowadays and uh, uh, I think that uh, it only begin to evolve um, uh, I think that uh, different uh, electric emissions uh, uh, for um, protecting our nature uh, only uh, take their uh, uh, they uh, only. Um, popularize uh, among people and uh, I think that uh, it uh, it is a, a technology of uh, future uh, just uh, to protect our just to protect our air and uh, yeah, um, and um, ozone uh, layer uh, and etc. Last question. Yes, of course, we have uh, changed the. Uh, in our climate, uh, in Ukraine, for example, uh, of course, um, it uh, consists uh, with our war situation. Um, it uh, consists uh, with uh, um, uh, changes uh, in nature. Uh, uh, what effect uh, it has on agriculture? Um, Uh, I think that, uh, of course, uh, nature has some resources to uh, adapt, uh, to change, but uh, mm, uh, 
we must uh, we must use new uh, sorts of plants to grow up in a new uh, uh, environment. I am so sorry because it is my first experience. Of course, I have some mistakes because uh, uh, I must improve my English. Um, it is uh, difficult. Difficult for me to uh, give answer and to translate uh, at the same time. Uh, but uh, I will um, work with my mistakes. <laughs> so I promise that the uh, next lecture will be better. <laughs> it's OK, Miss. It's a very amazing presentation. Okay, I think we don't have no more question again. May I continue to the next session for time a picture, Miss? Okay, so Miss Febri will be handle this session. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Miss Novita. Mm. For those who have an activity in the camera, you can active the camera first so we can take photos together. Ya, yeah, bagi peserta yang belum mengaktifkan kameranya bisa diaktifkan terlebih dahulu ya. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay. let me come from one to Three. Yes. Once again, smile. One, two, three. Okay, thank you. I will return the event to Miss Novita. Finally, we come to the end of visiting lecture today. We would like to say thanks again for Dr. Irina Mozu for their wonderful information. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. We hope this information will be beneficial for all audience. And I hope we can meet again in another event in the future. Also, I would like to thank for all participants for attending this visiting lecture and making this even more interesting. At least we hope to have more collaboration in the future with the Ukraine. Yeah, at least we the webinar Sorry, the visiting lecture for today's end here. We hope to see you soon. Thank you and have a nice day. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for meeting. Uh, I I have got a lot of pleasure uh, with uh, uh, of our conversation. Of our conversation. Thank you very much for your attention. Good luck. Uh, be healthy. Yeah, thank you so much. Goodbye. Have a nice day for everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Miss. Okay, I think that's enough for today's event. Thank you. Good afternoon. Have a good rest. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.